guys, it's Julie. So today we're going thrifting. I'm so excited. So last week in South Louisiana, we had like freezing, insane weather. The kids were off all week and the weather's amazing now. It's up to 70 degrees and I'm just ready to get out of the house. I wasn't planning on going thrifting today, but what happened was <laughs> I was scrolling through Facebook last night and bam, this picture of a number six croc popped up on my newsfeed. Do I need a number six croc? Of course I do. <laughs> Not really. I actually have a number 10 croc that I've had for over 10 years. It's really big and it's always been in my bathroom to put our dirty clothes in. But I saw this number six croc and there's six people in our family and I'm like, I need this number six croc. <laughs> Was it an impulse buy? Yes. And that's totally why you should be posting stuff and taking PayPal and Venmo. So it was $50. Was that a great price? I mean, it's okay. It's not like bargain basement prices, but oh yeah, it was an impulse buy. And so I already sent them the money. I have to go pick it up. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sell my number, number 10 croc or keep it, but I'm really excited about my number six croc. So I figured since I had to get out of the house and go pick this croc up that we might as well go shopping, right? So before I hit, uh, leave town, I'm going to stop at one thrift store here and then we're going to go some other places I've never been before and see what we can find. So let's go do some shopping. I was hoping to find some cute little bunny rabbits in the spring decor area, but I didn't see anything that I thought would look amazing painted. It looks kind of bare, so I'm hoping they'll get more like spring Easter stuff for the next time I come in and I can find a cute bunny rabbit to paint. But look what I did find. Look at all these amazing baskets. I was so excited when I saw this whole shelving unit full of baskets. So most of these little baskets came home with me. These little ones that you put paper plates in. Um, they are so perfect for hanging on the wall because they're really light and low profile. So they look amazing if you're trying to do like a basket gallery wall with other size baskets and other shaped baskets. Those fit perfectly in. They had some lots of little like trinkets and stuff like that. I thought this tray was kind of cute, but I passed on that. And then they had like these small little um, brass pots. I also passed on these, but I thought they were really cute. They did have some furniture. Sometimes they have furniture, sometimes they don't, but I thought today they had a good bit of furniture. I don't need anything, but their prices are really good over here. I mean, it was $90 for this china cabinet. The vases were 50 cents, but I didn't really see anything worth buying. And I think this china cabinet was, it was 120. So their prices here on furniture are really good. They're not, you know, nothing crazy. They had this vintage piece for $110. That was really pretty. That big circle mirror is amazing. I am so glad I stopped at this place. Look what I found. Y'all, I have been searching for these baskets for months because they are perfect to make like a little basket display on your wall and I have a customer that's really been wanting me to do one of these so I'm like I will I just need more baskets so I'm so excited that I found these they just look so perfect in the little basket gallery wall you know I love that what's better than a basket gallery wall and then they have like these little ones too that I never find so yeah I paid seven dollars for this entire stack of baskets. I didn't count how many baskets I got, but yeah, it's a lot. So I'm excited. Now let's head to Franklin to the Bargain Born and pick up my number six croc and see what else they have over there. I feel like it's a great start to the day and I'm just even more excited than I was when I started. Let's go. So I went by the Bargain Born and they were actually closed even though they were supposed to be open. 
So I headed to Main Street in Franklin where they have the Bargain Barn 2, which is more of an antique market, and I'll insert the footage of that now. So right when you walked in, it looked like they had this booth with some local handmade items. I was really digging these tea towels. I thought they were so pretty. And I thought their prices were great. Like it was only $10, some were 12 and then the little more intricate ones were $20. So if you were looking for a really cute tea towel, this place had some good ones. I always see this on like um, upcycling sites where you put the, the little teacups on the candelabra. Not really my style, but one's put together for you right there. This is some local, looks like hand drawings some painted on feathers. Okay, if you are looking for glass in any color, <laughs> this is the spot. And it was all separated out by colors. But look, it looks amazing all displayed like that. Uh, lots of great, beautiful white ones and then crystal ones. This whole section is all brass and silver. Look at all the little brass figurines. Look at this little mouse, how cute. It was $5. I mean, if I would have saw something I had to have, I would have spent that on it, but you know, I like to find them for 25 cents at a garage sale. <laughs> Five dollars is too much for me. <laughs> Cute little pig. Even though I don't buy a lot of stuff when I come to these places, I just really enjoy looking at the stuff that, you know, this place has collected over time. Look at all these figurines. So many little angel figurines. It's just fun to walk around and look. I would love to find an anti globe while thrifting. I didn't even ask for the price on that one. Lots of vintage books. I mean, they were definitely out of my price range. I know I can find them much cheaper at thrift, other thrift stores and garage sales. They wanted forty dollars for this like little encyclopedia set. had some vintage clothing, vintage hats. Everything was kind of separated out into sections, which I thought was great and fun to shop that way. Look at this chunky frame. Oh, it was gorgeous. I think it was a hundred and something dollars. Oh, $75. These orange price tags do not show up good on camera. This trunk I thought was really pretty. I don't know what the price on it was. I didn't see a price, but I don't deal with trunks. That's a little bit too big for me. Now this is my section, antique kitchen. Love, love antique kitchen stuff. The hutches here were beautiful. I wish I needed one. So I paid $50 for my number six croc. Oh, this one was $150 for this hutch. So this croc was $55 for that little small one right there. So that makes me feel about better about my $50 croc that I bought that I haven't picked up yet. This one was, I can't see, I think it was like 200 for this one. But I feel like that's not a bad price at all. I mean, you would spend so much more at a store getting one like that that's fake. You know, I'd rather spend $200 on a true antique. But I don't need one, unfortunately. I was hoping that these um, Crocs had a price on them just so I could compare to the one that I was going to pick up, but they didn't have a price on them. They had lots of furniture, lots and lots of chairs. I thought this armoire in the back was really pretty. I loved how tall it was because I have, you know, very high ceilings. So I always like to find taller furniture. I find it makes my ceilings 
seem even taller when you go vertical with your design. And this whole, the other section was all the smalls and then this is all the antique furniture, like this whole half of the store. And then they had this cute little bear. I love, love stuff like this, but she wanted $15 for it, so I passed, but it's so cute. That place was definitely fun to go look around and I'm glad I decided to come here because I asked them what was going on at the bargain barn and they said they were on their way back from picking up a load of stuff that I hope I get to look at um, and they weren't going to be back for about an hour so I'm like okay well I'll just shop around here and then head out that way and I just checked out and she called they were only 20 minutes away so the plan is to head to McDonald's and get me a caramel macchiato and wait for them to arrive but I you know the stuff was like a little bit overpriced for me now if I'm buying it for myself I, I feel like their prices are decent but not really for resale even though I did pick up a few things so let me show y'all what I got for myself look at this tea towel how cute it is hand stitched I showed these right at the beginning because I thought they were so pretty and I found one that says fresh shucked oysters so I need a new tea towel from my outside kitchen because I'm gonna throw my dad under the bus here he came cook at my house and used my tea towel. What? <laughs> he doesn't understand tea towels. <laughs> like even my kids know that's not a towel you use. <laughs> so anyway, I thought $10 was a great price on that. And I love like the tiny hand embroidery. Like it's probably not hand embroidered, but I like the, the small stitching where it's not like thick. It kind of looks hand drawn from far away. I love it. So I told her she needed to make some pelican ones like that. I just went ahead and inserted all my opinions. <laughs> and then I bought this. It was $5. Look how huge it is. I have an idea for it because I have one something like this in my outside kitchen and people always commented on, on it. So I'm going to cut these things off the sides and then put some rope. And it's going to be like a little hanging planter. So cute. I have one of those. I'll insert like a little video of it hanging from my shelving that I still need to decorate. <laughs> um, but people always comment on that. I'm like, oh, I could make one of those and that would sell good. And then y'all, this was the best deal. I got four of these, $5 each. Look how cute. So the plan is to spray a clear coat on here. I like Rust-Oleum and probably put some feet on it and this would be absolutely adorable in the middle of somebody's table on a bookshelf it's like nice and thin you can put it on your entertainment center so i was excited when she i just took a picture because a lot of stuff wasn't priced so i took a picture of stuff that i liked and then i went to the register and at axstar and i felt like she kind of gave me better deals <laughs> Um, so it's kind of good when stuff isn't priced sometimes because I feel like, because I do the same thing, I give people a better deal like when I'm on the spot having to get a price. All right, so let's head to McDonald's and then we're going to head back to the Bargain Barn. So this place is definitely not like the antique mall. I think they like clean out houses and buy out estates and stuff like that. And what happens uh, is they unload it all here and go through it and then the nicer stuff they bring to the antique mall so this is definitely the the place to get the better deals y'all know i was drooling over those spindles right <laughs> and i was hoping to find a cute little bunny here but i didn't i did not find a little bunny oh my god is it my lucky day or what look what i found another stack of these i was so excited does that basket look familiar to y'all that one needs a little bit of help lots and lots of smalls and lots of furniture here you definitely have to be ready to dig so i just left the bargain barn and i might have bought over 50 spindles <laughs> I just like started looking through them and I was like I kind of want all of these so I counted them up so I would know like if I was getting a good deal or not she told me two dollars a piece on them which I thought was a good price but I kind of wanted all of them so I went asked her I'm like hey would you give me a good deal if I bought all your spindles so she did the same thing as me she kind of counted up counted them up and she's like looks like we got about 50 here what about you know a dollar piece I'm like 
sounds like a deal to me so i just took all of them now i have 50 spindles but they were also amazing so but what i'm thinking is you know i just need to sell two boxes or one ladder to pay for all my spindles and then the rest is profit so I, it was definitely a good deal but you know you always have that regret or like kind of like freak outness <laughs> when you buy a lot of stuff like oh my god now i got all this stuff to deal with it but it's fine like that is a good investment i'm gonna use those spindles i'm probably um definitely gonna make some ladders because i feel like that's the quickest way to like really move that product and then it's like my lucky day look what i found some more of these months months i've been looking for these and find them twice in one day so exciting and then i got this basket and then I got these shoes for my son. I'm kind of jealous. I wish they were my size. They're brand new Adidas, never been worn. Camo, which is super popular now. They're in a size, which is an 11. He's 14 years old. He's in a size 11. They're ginormous. So I probably would have spent, um, it was $20 for the shoes in the basket. Oh, and I, I forgot. I found like a little old falling apart little side table or something. I I'll insert a video because it's like right there it's too big um to show y'all but i don't know if that was a good deal but it was 20 dollars for all this stuff i figured for the shoes i would have probably paid 50 70 dollars for just the shoes but the little um the little side tables in worse shape than i thought because i didn't really look at it closely she said 10 dollars. i'm like okay cool it was just like on a buying spree i don't know i was on a spindle high <laughs> But I really like the top. I think it would be like cool as a sign if I can't keep the whole thing together. And then of course the legs I could do something with. So I'll get my $10 back. And then the croc was actually smaller than I thought it was. It's still big, but it's smaller than my number 10 croc. So I'll probably leave the number 10 croc in my bathroom and put the number six croc somewhere else. It's like the perfect size for a plant or something. Ooh, maybe my fiddle tree could put it could go in there that might be cute i definitely love it i love it i'm glad i bought it i don't regret it um so yeah it's fine so bargain bar was good and they just got there when i drove up and they had two trailer loads of stuff to um unload so i'm probably gonna stop back by um when i go back that way to see what was in those trailers because it's like 45 minutes from my house so it's not like something i can just um you know go run over there and see what they have they also post a lot of pictures on facebook so i'm gonna be checking my facebook and if they happen to post something i want i can just say hey i'm coming back by i'm gonna pick this up so that's what she told me to do and that was a good idea i'm gonna do that all right now i should probably go home honestly because i've spent too much money but i'm not going to we're gonna keep shopping because I never come out this way. So next I'm headed to New Iberia where I've never been thrifting. I think they have like three thrift stores over there, maybe two, no more than that. So we're just gonna head out that way and see what I can find. So I will see y'all over there. So I just went running to the Ark. I didn't film or anything because it was nothing but cane fields all the way over here. And by the time I got there, of course I had to use the bathroom, but it was a bigger thrift store. So I thought there would be a public restroom there was not, I should have left, left right then and there, but I didn't. I made a quick round. I didn't film. There's a lot of people in there. And I'm like, I just want to look real quick and get out. And there wasn't a big home section or nothing, but look what I did find. It's just an Adidas kind of day. These are so cute and they're in the baby size. We are a Adidas family, if you haven't figured it out. That's what we like to wear. And my daughter loves her court shoes like this. I've already bought her two pairs. Like she wears them out even more before she outgrows them. Like she loves these. So I cannot wait to show her that I found a pair for her sister. And those are $2. And then this was $2, y'all. <gasps> Look at this quilt. So it was just like laying out on a rack. I guess somebody looked at it and put it back in the wrong place. Look how cute like there's so many scenes on here there's like chickens and birds and fish and the colors are just perfect this might go on the blanket ladder in the baby's room i love this this would actually be a great blanket for her because it's like super soft look at the little boy peeing <laughs> uh, two dollars y'all this is beautiful beautiful oh look like the little girl with the 
balloons and the little bird. Sha baby. So I was excited about that. Okay, I don't know where there's any more thrift stores. I know there's some more, so I'm gonna hit up the Google and see where we go next. Y'all, since when New Iberia has a Hobby Lobby? I didn't even know this. I was just driving by and I saw Hobby Lobby. I'm like, oh my God, I need to stop because I need some ribbon from here. And we'll go see what else they have. Maybe they have some clearance. The floral is 50% off at Hobby Lobby. I just love like these paper looking flowers. They are so cute. Most of them are $5 and less. Plus they're 50% off, so they're a really good price. If you're looking for something pretty, this is what I have in the baby's room. I actually think these are the ones I have in her room. These are so pretty. They're just so like vintage-y looking but beautiful at the same time. Love these. I'm trying to think if I need some anywhere in my house <laughs> while they're on sale. Cheryl with Fine Flippin', she's always posting in a Julie's Designs and Signs Facebook group. This looks like the stuff that she always stages with, like these kind of like branchy, wispy floral pieces. I'm trying to decide if I want to get some or not because her pieces always look so beautifully staged with this and the whole thing is wire so you can kind of move it around. So it's like $4 for one of these. They're 50% off right now. I like um, Hobby Lobby floral, but it is kind of expensive sometimes. But when you're looking for a specific piece and you can get it 50% off, I feel like that's a good deal, especially for staging pieces. The garland is also 50% off. These are the two that I like to get, like this kind of frosted one. And then this one's a little more green. This looks so great to make wreaths out of or just to stage in boxes or whatever you have. I think I'm out, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. So I have some, cause I don't go to Hobby Lobby very often and it's not always 50% off. Look at these two-tone baskets. I'm telling y'all, two-toned is where it's at. I feel like it's farmhouse meets boho. And these were kind of expensive, I find, for very small baskets. Um, So you can totally replicate this look yourself using thrift store baskets. Y'all, I think this is a runner, but I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about this. I think maybe it's showing up brighter on camera than it is in person. But maybe for like a cute Easter centerpiece? I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this like faux grass runner. They got some cute, cute placemats here. I was thinking these would be cute as hanging wall baskets like this or you got the fringe kind of hanging down but they're eight dollars a piece so a little bit expensive but that would be cute if you wanted it to make something like that for your own house and then they have these lace ones that are pretty as well been looking at these boxes for a while at hobby lobby these would be so cute next to the water by my new fence to put plants in i absolutely love them i could even paint them white and distress them if i needed some color they're $25 a piece. Mm. That would be so pretty. Like a few along the fence. Oh, so cool. I have to save up for those because I probably need like six of them. They don't even have six. They only have two. Oh, and then also look at this eucalyptus tree. This is so pretty. That would look amazing in the house as well. But look at the price. $130. Okay, I want to know what y'all think of these huge fin uh, finial looking things they had at Hobby Lobby. I kind of love them, but I wish they had more of like an antique farmhouse look to them instead of these bright spring colors. I just spent way too much time in Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just feel feeling very relaxed today. I'm in the mood to shop. I think it's because early in the day I found some good stuff so I'm not like feeling, you know, like, oh my god, I need to go find stuff. Anyway, I got, so if you're wondering where I get the ribbon from um, that I made the pillows with and also that hanging drop cloth thing, I got it from here. It wasn't on sale so I paid $4 for it but I needed some more of it so I had to get it. 
And then I find the floral is really expensive at Hobby Lobby, but I like to get my garland from Hobby Lobby. So I showed y'all this one in the video that I love. Then I've never seen this one before. I find this Hobby Lobby had a lot, a lot of floral. And look how pretty this one is. It was the same price. It was um, $25 and then it was half off. So I really like this one. These you can make them into wreaths. You can like take them apart and decorate them with stuff. I just find they're so versatile. And also like, um, oh, they're great for spindle boxes where you can decorate a spindle box. So this, I was so happy because I forgot I needed this. So this one is $15.99, so $16 half off. I love these for decorating the tops of books. Like it's so easy just to pull off the little, the little pieces and then they're like so like wispy and cute and you just put that on top of the book and they look adorable and like this lasts forever like it's so much greenery i like this greenery so it's called flowering garland and it's uh 15.99 at hobby lobby so that's all i got but you know i had to peruse the aisles and see what was happening there and see what i maybe wanted to get next time so it's fun all right now I need to go find the goodwill in this town and then I, I like I need to get home to my kids <laughs> they all gonna be getting out of school soon so let's go find the goodwill so I was on my way to goodwill and then I saw this store called cheap lots and like every day everything in a store was a different price and today's Tuesday and everything was two dollars I'm like okay I have got to go see what this store is about so it was a lot of junk it was a lot of stuff from Target but y'all I got six packs of these with the three Christmas trees so they ended up being about 60 cents each y'all I was so, I'm like what is going on today like am I in the twilight zone so yeah I picked up six of these they also had some really cute terracotta um, pumpkins like if I had a booth or something, I would have picked up all those as well because you throw a little white wax on those and those are so perfect for fall. But I don't really do fall. I usually like just jump straight to Christmas and I don't know what's going on next year. But I feel I felt like these trees were a good bet, bet. You just stick them in whatever you have that's Christmas related and for 60 cents, you can definitely charge more with a little Christmas tree in them or I could put some craft paper or just sell them as is. They're super cute so got that and then they had i can't remember if i just said this or not but they had a lot of stuff from target so i've been finishing up my outside kitchen and they had this curtain it's threshold and i thought it would match perfectly it does have some rips and stuff but that's not a big deal because i want to turn it into some cafe curtains uh from like my small window over my sink because i have curtains for my big windows and I think this will match perfectly with what I have going on I can just cut it up and make some cute cafe curtains and then I couldn't pass up this one either it's from the heart and hand chip and Joanna's line um it has the cute ties at the top which I mean that's not gonna matter because I only have one panel but it has a very subtle window pane pattern on it I don't know if y'all can see that but this is so cute I figured for two dollars I can definitely use it for something then y'all know how expensive linen is right now I found these linen linen curtains they're like the most beautiful color I really hope they're 96 inches I couldn't tell they definitely look like it but I didn't know so I found one I was like I'm getting that because linen is expensive like whether I do cafe curtains because I still got my kitchen I gotta do cafe curtains in oh the window pane one will be cute in my kitchen um I was picking these up for two dollars for linen curtains then then I found another one so now I have a set of linen curtains for four dollars and then I picked up um it's supposed to be summertime this is like the face sunscreen the sticks the kids like these and they always lose them so and then I got this it's not fun but I really needed this to file all my receipts and stuff so I can do every month and have this and I never buy it because it's not fun but I saw it and I'm like it's two dollars I need one of those it's five stores so it'll hold up good so yeah 
that was crazy i didn't know they had a hobby lobby here i didn't know this store even existed so today was so much fun um i'm not gonna make it to goodwill i don't have time i gotta get back pick up the baby from school and be home for when the kids get home but i had so much fun shopping with y'all today i'm so glad i bought that croc i'm so glad i came shopping today it was great please leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite thing that i picked up today if this is the kind of videos you love make sure you subscribe to my channel i do lots of thrifts flips obviously lots of thrift store shopping i hope y'all have a wonderful day and i will see y'all in the next video Thanks for watching and give this video a big